will know in a minute. We will know in a minute. Receiving your content. Alright, let's see what we got here. Five. Yes, we are. So let me go over to the YouTube side. Leave this side. Over here. Turn to YouTube Studio. Make this thing work tonight in Kitchen Stadium Country Night tonight. Let's see, I don't think we need that. Hello, everybody. I see the uh, side chat rolling over there. Let me, uh, see, I'm trying to get into this thing. Welcome to Kitchen Stadium. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can bring that up a little better. Alright. Just a few more things. Hello everyone. I may have something to ask you, Joe Biden. Alright, hello Dawn. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Uh, no, you got too many aunts on there <laughs> every darn day. Taurus, how are you? Hello, Golden State. Zeus Phillips, nice to see you. Teeny Biggs, it's 109 in Arizona. Hello, High Watch, how are you tonight? Hit the thumbs up as you come in. Hello, Maggie A, it's always appreciated. So glad to see you all uh, tonight. <laughs> going to get going in a couple minutes. Bobby's going to be over about uh, 6 o'clock. I'm going to put the fire to to the uh, oil, potatoes, chicken, corn fritters, which I've never made before. Hello, Jay Money. I've never made uh, corn fritters before, so it's going to be interesting. It's an interesting story. It takes me back to my childhood. And if you are a person of the South, no doubt, corn fritters were a part of your life as they were a part of mine. Hello, Noreen. Nice to see you this evening and then we'll have some pork peas too so i got a really good deal on uh, chicken was chicken is so cheap right now it's really nice it's not like ridiculously like 69 cents a pound but maybe uh maybe 90 99 cents a pound fritter is but i'm not from the south i only reside here there you go corn fritters are flour baking powder egg uh, sugar, salt, uh, mix it all together, half a cup of milk and a cup of corn, cream corn, mix it all together, then drop it into spoonfuls with hot oil and then dust it with, uh, hey Jen Jen, how you doing nocturnal, <laughs> then dust it with confectioner sugar, hello Cheryl, nice to see you tonight, welcome aboard, corn pancakes good. Yep, good, good. And I have my own mix of uh, batter dip for the um, for the um, chicken tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and put the oil. Yeah, it's kind of, sort of like the fried bread, but it's more of a, it's more of a southern thing here. Let me just get that into position. I'll move you guys over later as we get on the way. Might have to change gas cylinders. I went and bought a couple more. Went and bought a couple more. So I'm gonna have two pans, one for the fries and one for the uh, chicken here. And then when the chicken's done, I'm gonna drop the corn fritters into it. That'll be for the chicken. That'll be for the potatoes. I don't really have a lot of fat in my diet, so I'm not really worried about fried food once in a while. It's actually good for your uh, good for your nervous system to have a little bit of uh, a little bit of fat. So let's top that up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and pop the flame to her. Let me make sure I'm good to 
stable here. Corn fritters. There was a restaurant in Urbana, Maryland, near Frederick, called the Peter Pan Inn. And the family that started that went on to Florida and started the Kapok tree in and around Clearwater. Some of you may know that to Harry. I've got two burners going tonight. I'm going to be very careful. It's a lot of hot oil here. It's going to take a while to bring that up to temperature. <coughs> got my corn fritter mix I made up. If you want the recipe, you can check the description box down below in today's uh, event. So I'm going to let that heat up a little bit. I'm probably going to have to change cylinders on that thing. Yes, but for now, I think we'll be okay. We're going to let that get up to uh, temperature. <clears throat> You're on a diet. Shake and bake it. I helped. Yeah, I think it's going to taste. I think it's going to taste great. Tonight, Joe Smith, long time no see, JK No Cow, how are you? And thumbs up are appreciated if you're just coming into the uh, chat. Joe Smith, I haven't, uh, I haven't, um, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, all of my friends are still here. <laughs> What's for dinner? We're going to have Rancho uh, pan fried chicken, corn fritters potatoes and peas let me get rid of this former friend a little boot on that there we go all right all right yeah we already gave him the royal send-off yeah there's the uh, <clears throat> recipe I have mine in the description box down there hello Judy good to see you happy uh, happy Saturday night Bobby should be here in a couple minutes. I'm going to monitor that uh, gas situation there. I did buy a couple a couple cylinders, so we need to get the oil <clears throat> up to temperature. We need to cook the chicken about 20 minutes. It's just legs tonight, chicken legs, the uh, drumsticks. So it shouldn't be too shouldn't be too much to uh, shouldn't be too difficult tonight's tonight's menu. So. I'm happy to see Bobby again this week. I gave him the invite. I did a lot of work, as you guys see, saw, cleaning up on the inside <clears throat> today. I feel really, really good about that. I'm sorry, Joe Smith. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Miss Kitty. How are you? Yeah, we're going to feast tonight. I'm going to cook about six legs. I'd be lucky if Bobby eats one of them, but... Uh, I can do a good job on that. I got one of those like 12 packs and it was like $4. It was a very good price tonight. So I've got to keep an eye on that oil. I'm running two burners with two big frying pans. So it's going to take a while to get that up to, uh, it's going to take a while to get that up to temperature. Jay Holly, how are you tonight? Good to see you. So I'm determined as hard as I work today to clean up inside, I'm going to do my darndest. I got a lot of good advice from people. I got some links and just some Gmails and some good things. We go for so long and steaks for $5. They had pig for 5 for $25. Uh, I found pork is very cheap, especially bacon prices just, just collapsed, which shocked me. It used to be getting up to... How you doing, Golden State? It used to be getting up to like six, eight dollars a pound for some bacon, and now I see it for like two ninety nine. Back in the moonshine business. All right. Well, we got Joe Smith back. That's the really good news. Uh, good news tonight. It's nice when your house is clean, isn't it? Hey, Lindsay, how are you? Good to see you tonight. Hope that you were doing well and safe, Joe Smith. I hope you didn't have. Uh, Cornholio, that would be, but if you survived it, I guess that'd be good. 24 eggs for $1.59. I get the Eggland's Best. They're like $4.49 for 18 eggs. Hi, Tess. How are you? Which I thought was okay. Eggland's Best eggs are pretty good quality. A little lower in, uh, in some of the fats. Sure, I think that... I have to really keep an eye on that thing. Hey, Hazel. How you doing, honey? 
Been a while. Hazel, Eric, G's, Vixen. Nice to see. Yes, you're a strong broad. Yes, you are. Keep an eye on this. Want that to get good. And hot. So far, so good. Like I said, I got two backup cylinders tonight. Wow, 18 eggs for 89 cents. Wow, hey, Peachy Pie, that's a great price. Ours, we have these uh, cage free, so it's a little more. Still pouring your milk on the ground, no school needed for milk. Um, yeah, that's going to be a big problem. All these kids, did. well, our local elementary school here has been having drive through. They set up about 11 o'clock and closed down by 1. You can take up your, you can pick up your meals to go up there all through the summer. Hey, Jessica, how are you? I would imagine that might continue. I don't think you should be buffering at all. Just refresh your connection. I'm looking good over here. Looking good on my side. Should be all right. Should be. We're just bringing that oil up to temperature. That's going to be a while. <laughs> nice to see you, Jessica. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I feel sorry. No kids in school to eat eggs. A lot of restaurants closed. No buying. Yeah, a lot of demand profiles have changed. Uh, you don't eat at home the way you do at a restaurant, for sure. Uh, we'll just see how it plays out. I like to stay optimistic about things. Keeping an eye on that gas. I think Bobby's pulling up. I don't know. You have your kids in the car to go get you. It's crazy getting the kids up. Well, the kids don't even have to be there. You just register in and somebody can go pick it up if they're okay to pick it up. You just drive through. They have masks on. They have cones set up. You just drive through and uh, you just drive through and pick it up. Yeah, nothing beats home cooking. There you go, JK No Cow. You said it all. Nothing beats home cooking. Let's do a little temperature check here. I've got the potatoes into half moons tonight. that a little bit on that one times must be hard wonder why they can't send the milk to the food bank I guess they can hey penny pincher I guess they can but they need to make some money too and a lot of these places are under contracts for uh, contracts for uh, the school year so who knows <laughs> So what am I doing now? I'm prepping the oils. I don't get a lot of fat in my diet, so one day, uh, one day a week isn't going to make a lot of difference. On uh, isn't going to be harmful. I rarely eat f fried food, but tonight we're going country with the fried pan fried chicken, and I'm going to do the um, corn fritters after the chicken is cooked because I want those chicken flavor juices to go in there. Yeah, it's always about the money. Well, they got to make a living. Uh, dairy business is in trouble, restaurant business, a lot of things. Send that milk to the dehydrator. Yeah, make, make milk powder out of it. I don't, I don't know how many dehydrators are around, to tell you the truth. Um, they're probably at capacity already. Okay, we're still running good there. Uh, they did that in the 1930s. Milo, somebody or other in Iowa had the uh, milk strike. They just poured all their milk into the uh, road. Can't remember the guy's name. Been thinking, no, I'm doing pretty good. I got visitors coming in. I had a nice conversation with uh, Narsay. 
he might be uh, coming around. Be good to see him again. And then, God willing, I should be on the road. Yep, they are hydrangeas back there. They love the shade. So that's specifically why I put them there because of that mulberry tree. Good to see you. Life with Jen, nice to see you. It is a beautiful day. I have not heard from Dee since he uh, took off. I'm assuming, as uh, they always say, no news is good news. So, yeah, they, they do look nice, don't they? I love my hydrangeas here. Love them. Let's do another test. Go ahead and drop just a couple more minutes. I think we can drop the we can drop the taters in. A couple more minutes. Hey, Laura Wright, how are you? Nice to see you tonight. Because they won't process no one to sell to. Don't make any money sending the food bank yeah, and, it, and the uh, supermarket shelves only have so much capacity. And I'm sure the government has tons and tons and tons of dehydrated uh, milk. <coughs> Lots and lots of that. I'm gonna grab a beer in a bit too. Wanted to wait till Bobby gets here. It's gonna be good to see Bobby. He might be there. I think that's gonna be enough. Let's go ahead and carefully put these in. Officially underway. I'm just dropping in the uh, taters here. Trying to cook them all. Should probably overload the pan, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and drop them in. Let's make sure we're good and centered up. We don't need any accidents. It's just, just the right volume in there. This will take a little slower because I'm not over direct heat tonight. And also these potatoes drop the temperature down right away. Now as far as the chicken goes, I have my egg wash here. You can see me okay. And then I have my mixture here. I'm going to go ahead and pop the chicken into the egg wash. Try not to handle anything, try to use good food safe practices here. Go ahead and give that a good go ahead and give that a good swirl. We're gonna let this heat up a couple more minutes. Here I'm trying to evenly coat all of the uh, chicken. I just have a couple beaten eggs here. I warmed up the chicken about an hour before, but I kept the cover on top. Of it. We're gonna let that marinate a bit more. Okay, our gas is officially gone on this side. Go get my new bottle. And I went to the hardware store today. Nothing like some fresh fire in the hole. Basic 
basic batter looks like for them. Kind of thick, you just spoon it in by tablespoons fulls. Bobby will be over in a bit. Supposed to be here about six. Touch method. Got all of that in there. Get that all woo! All good and coated. Just like the kernel. <laughs> woo! Fire in the hole, baby. Okay, that's all. That's up to temperature now. I'm going to try to throw about six of these babies in here. Got my proprietary coating on it. Do you hear that, Hot Frog? My proprietary coating. All right, six seems to be the perfect number. And down she goes. All right. Back that off slightly. And we are underway. We got to make sure we cook these about uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes on each side. I'm going to get my timer here. We are underway. I'm waiting for the uh, temperature to get back up on the potatoes. I guess I'll put you guys over there for a bit. Then I'll go wash off a few things here. W A R S H. Let's put this over here. You coming over for a plate, Moonstone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that. Thank you. Hazel Eric G's Vixen, $2. Thank you, sweetie. Much appreciated. I hope this thing is working okay tonight. It should fire off in a bit. Alright, so you can see the chickens down. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. Yeah, I have a full crew of voiders here, huh? I got the perfect amount of potatoes in there. Make sure that's up high. We're gonna. Hey, Bobby! Bobby's here. How you doing, Bobby? I got a chair down here if you want to just pull this one over. How'd it look? Super cool. Thank you. Thank you. I just love hearing you say wash lol. Smiley face, purple heart. Thank you, Lisa. I'm doing great. There's Bobby. Yeah. What's up, Bobby? <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. Rosie's fried chicken, corn fritters, and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. That's it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. Yeah, thumbs up for appreciating. We got a goal. See if we can get to 200 at night. 200. Jin Jin. Yeah. Hi, Miss Kitty. Got your Cheers. whole, whole crew. Yeah, you're not. I'm just got this on close up over here. Yeah, Bobby said hi, everybody. No hat. No hat today. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Well, I washed my hair. So I don't you have can to wear a hat. Chat with Bobby a bit here. There we go. So, how's your day, Bobby? You see how clean it looked inside? <laughs> Been a long time since it's Cleaning been that. Uh, it's been a long time. All right, keep an eye on things, Bobby. I'm going to run these things in and wash them off here. I figured I'd get a jump and start the oil up before you. Uh, well, that's good. I'm good. Life is good. 
Every day is like a day in paradise. It's Brad Pitt. God, it's, it's, it's Brad Pitt. Hi, Judy. Nah, I'm not a moonshine person. I, I, I drink Corona so I can stay, um, I don't get sick. I don't get Corona. Lindsay, lasagna. Jerry. See, I, I washed my hair. Go, going back to the 60s. I haven't had a haircut for like four months. Hey, thanks, Hansel. Golden State. Yeah, I'm not cutting my own hair. I have, a, I have a nephew who's a barber, but I haven't had a chance to go see him yet. Hey, Robert. Hope you got your fill of baseball because that season's about to be over. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, what are these people doing? I don't know. They're dropping like flies, though, the players right now, the coaches. All right, what I'm doing is filling these two bowls with some paper towels for draining later. All right, so the thing is, hey, I think Alaska. the trick, the trick with uh, chicken, Bobby, is I don't think you want to turn it too often. No. Oh yeah, things are looking righteous in here. Yeah, that's looking good. It's a chicken fry tonight. Chicken fry. See, and that oil wasn't up to optimum temperature yet, so Bobby, there's longer. Yeah, Bobby, you can't get a haircut because of the, uh, well, I guess you could sneak in the back door if you yeah, wanted. Yeah, I could, but I don't sneak. <laughs> if I'm not going through the front door, I'm How not. you doing, Robert? Hey, Rhonda. Good to see you. The Chef Rosie. Yes, I'm on the job tonight. I am on <clears throat> the job tonight. Yeah, well, you're lucky you clicked on this, uh, Elsie. Ginger, I'll drink two for it's you. Your lucky night. So we're gonna let that roll. The trick is, don't mess with chicken when it's in the oil. Just let it uh, kick, <laughs> let it cook, and then give her a good flip on the other side. Annie P, good to see you. Sugar Cane, how you doing, Sugar Cane? Sugar cane, you'd be too in you'd be too insufferably handsome, even more than you are. Yeah, I'm gonna have a drink tonight, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, likes uh, yeah, thumbs up for appreciated guys. We are underway. We're looking good. I'm excited. You excited for country cooking, Rodney? I am. St. Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania cooking, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's old stopping ground. Yeah, until I was five. Yeah, now when that chicken's all done, I should be able to drop those fritters in. Uh, I, I, just gonna I'm, I'm a, we're just going to experiment tonight. I never made them before, but I grew up and they were one of the, one of the true highlights of life. Peter Pan in corn fritters. Urbana, Maryland, right next to where uh, was the guy that was the cavalry guy for the Confederacy? What was his name? I can't remember. The what? It was a big Confederate cavalry guy for Robert Lee. No, he was the general, but it was his right hand cavalry. Jeff, no, not Jeb Stewart. Not Sherman. The, Sherman was the Yankee, right? <clears throat> but he set up camp right by there. Let's take a little peek. Oh, that's looking good. Gonna let that get good and golden on that side. What the hell was the name? They had the, uh, 
Roses and Swords ball Pit, there. Pit, uh, Pit, Pitford or Pittsman? I, I just watched the uh, Grant thing, I should know. I forget. Pit Boss Smokers, they work good. Hello, Roy. He went to Anchorage today. I'm so jealous. I see. Is it hot? It wasn't Longstreet. Was, who was the big cavalry guy? Uh, uh, maybe it was Jeb Stewart. Yeah, yeah Stewart. I think it was Jeb Stewart because Lee was pissed off at him after uh, <laughs> he well, he didn't even show up till after Gettysburg was almost Stonewall. No, Stonewall, not Stonewall. He died in Chancellorsville, shot by his own guys. Yeah. Jeb Stewart, yeah. Lee was very disappointed in him because he was off on a tangent when Lee was going to Gettysburg, so Lee said, I lost my eyes when I, he didn't show up. So. <laughs> we would have messed up the war. Things are looking good. I'll get you back over here when I do the flip side of this. The taters are looking good. You just have to be very respectful and very careful of the hot oil here. I have all of my handles turned in. We've never put a handle to the outside where somebody could walk by and that's right and uh, knock it. All, or, all, or the handle of a pot. All handles turn inward. That's exactly right. So we're looking good. We're looking good. You like the let you like the drumsticks, Bobby? Huh? Oh yeah. Bobby Matt never met a chicken he didn't like. I like chicken and turkey. And, and fish. fish. Yeah. You're not much of a beef person. I'm I'm not a meat person. Well we'll pretend chicken is not a meat, Bobby, tonight for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, BB and John, how are you? I'm going to go ahead and get my, um, I'm going to go grab a beer. You need anything, Bobby? No, nope, I'm good. Thank you. The cylinder is padded, so I must go this way. Good thing I bought backup. I went up to the store today and got a couple of backups. Oh, yeah, you went out shopping? Just to pick up a couple gas cylinders. I already shopped yesterday. Sherry, I don't, I don't do man buns, believe me. You the whole feast tonight, Bobby. <laughs> the whole darn feast. Get a dog. It is. I'd say our weather's been very comfortable. It was 90 oh, today, but uh, now it's probably 75, 76, something like that. Nice and How you doing, Karen Smith? Nice to see you. Nice and comfortable. The batter, one and a quarter cups of. Um, one and a quarter cups of flour, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, and I put in a tablespoon of cornstarch. It helps it helps to stick better. And I use one one teaspoon of Knorr chicken powder. For it, so. Man, that bread is long gone. Are you kidding? Gonna let that go. That's nowhere near ready to turn yet. <coughs> A couple more minutes. So things are looking good. Camp cooking tonight. They said I should allow people to come and pitch tents in the back of the boy Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Eh, <laughs> uh, no. No, no. Bobby, like you had enough drama over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody with tents, because they'll never leave. Would you leave the rancho? <laughs> That's looking good. I'm going to play that for you. I want to make sure that gets a good golden on that side there. My temperature, although it was bubbling, it wasn't really ideal for uh, frying. So. No party in that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. I used that with the um, fish, too, but I put a tablespoon of Old Bay in there for the fish. Yeah, the kids are always having fun. <laughs> oh Lord, Lisa, I hope you're okay, honey. Heat stroke, wow. 
Costco. Headache, a headache and throwing up after I got back from Costco. Wow. I hope you're okay. I'll cook for you. How you doing, Enrique? Nice to see those potatoes. Look, I just got up and put some of my old potato I found. There you go, I watch. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're all set for the uh, camp out here. Yeah, the potatoes are looking good. You can't rush these things, that's for sure. <laughs> so lonely, are you kidding? Well, why not? Bobby hasn't gotten that much. To, did you work last week at all? No. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Bobby hasn't gotten that much in the uh, I, pandemic. I, I, and I didn't went around when people were coming and going. I had Kev TV. I had... Uh, Scotty D and pocket changey here. You yeah, I, I don't want to be around people. Crab I soup. Been, I haven't even been to the casino. Hey, Ilva. Hi, Janet. I don't want people breathing on me. It actually takes a couple days to recover from dehydration. Scottish, how are you, sweetie? We got 220. We need to ramp up those thumbs up, guys. We're underway. Bobby's here. <clears throat> hey, Scottish. I thought you were going to comment when you walked through. Am I in the right house? It's so, <laughs> it's so clean. So clean and neat in there today. Well, it's a good thing you were busy. You had something to do. I kept incredibly busy. Hi, Craig. Good to see you. I was going to take off for uh, Vegas tomorrow, but between the heat and what's going on, I'm going to play it by ear. Probably yeah, definitely not going to be tomorrow. Me, my girlfriend, take driving up mountain, beautiful view, and trying to get down. What in Vegas is open? Uh, um, the things are open, but it's like uh, bars are closed. And, yeah, restaurants uh, are closed. Yeah, and uh, For indoor dining. Yeah, thank you, Rhonda. Jen's doing good. I uh, chat with her every single day. She's doing good. Yeah, she's enjoying okay. it. Enjoying her break. Always the high road, believe me. That's right. The best advice Bobby ever gave me. No matter what, always take the high road. It always pays off in the end. Yeah, never lower yourself. All right, let's flip one of these over. Yeah, we need a couple more minutes on the crunchometer here. Get me, man. I act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, with the uh, $5. Thank you, sweetie. 103 in Salt Lake. Wow. Damn. Put you guys over here a bit. Oh, damn. I knocked that right over. All right. Craig, chicken. Yep, we're doing pan fried chicken tonight. And taters and I And I've got uh, corn fritters I'm gonna be making too. I got the batter for the corn fritters. As soon as the chicken's done, I'm gonna try the fritters. I've never cooked them before. I'm gonna give them a whirl. How's that look? Frying away. Okay, Joe Smith, I'm glad to see you, honey. I'm glad that you're 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 on your way to recovery, I guess. So I'm gonna back this potato down just a bit. Yeah. How's things looking, guys? Pretty righteous, huh? Let's give Janet Fields a hell of a run for her money, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 70 mil, but two tickets. And Rosie, I will buy you a camera that you will need a flatbed. You're going to get me one of the big cinema cameras, one of the big Panaflex shots. <laughs> there you go. I'd be happy to just get some nice lenses. The stuff I picked up the other day just didn't cut it. Hey, that put me. You that bought put, more cameras? No, I bought. Um, I bought a used camera and I'm just trying to get the right lenses for it. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, Bobby, I'm upping my up in my game on video. <laughs> you gotta pursue your passion. You need to be invited. Hey, Greg, how are you? How are you? No problem, Jackie Blue. You stay as long as you like, honey. No requirement to ever be here. Oh, did that just kick off? Hold on a minute. Good and golden brown. Hello, Sheriff Side Chief. Sweet baby rays make the honey mustard. Make that side chick and get this in. Cornstarch helps it adhere a little better. I believe cornstarch is such a fine powder, it doesn't really come off. Plus, I use a little bit of cornmeal too on there. Here. Well, let's take another couple minutes over there. This should be good to go on the goldness on the goldness index there. Now we're getting close to the bone when that chicken blood's coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see a medium. We go back to uh, Michigan. Two, three. Yeah, I'm not sure where he is. I haven't had any communication with him since he uh, since he left. Wow. No news is good news in my book. <laughs> I'm not my gross. I'm not my brother's keeper. <laughs> I got enough I got I got enough fish to fry. Yeah, it took a, we had to get up to the proper temperature, so it took a while to go past the. Uh, Do you believe it's already August? Yeah, this is my favorite month of the year. My favorite month of the year. Easiest piece of chicken. Honey, whatever I fry just turns out beautifully, no matter what it is. Let's get with the program here. That's looking good, huh? Opiami, how are you? Nice to see you. Mustard fried chicken, deep fried. It was a main sauce. I bet it was. All right, I think we'll give these a turn now. Let you guys check the crispy golden index. Here, oh, that looks good, Janet Fields. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eat your heart out, Colonel. Look at that. Woo! Man, look at that. Man, is that looking righteous. Look at that, Bobby. How's that look? Brown. <laughs> Golden. Take our time with the taters. No rush here tonight. I'm going to try one fritter in the, each oil to see which one works out better. I would think the one with the chicken would be tastier. That oil. How's that look, guys? Let's see if we can get up to 100 thumbs up on that. You guys haven't hit that thumbs up? Let's hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> How's that look? Do you see how good that uh, all that batter stuck to it because of that corn starch? We're firing away, baby. Fire in the hole. Look good, huh, Icy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good. Look 
just don't want anybody to uh, get hurt here. You can see my batter for the corn fritters back there. Hey Mario, thank you. Hey Libra, how are you? No, I only got six uh, six legs there. I'd like to make enough chip for tomorrow. Doesn't that look good? Y'all getting hungry? <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're slobbering, Rosie. We're slobbering. Boy, nothing like Kitchen Stadium, huh? This is like the best thing I did on the channel. We start Kitchen Stadium. Yeah, it's nice. If I'm in town, I'm doing. I don't care if it's cold, if it's raining inside. I'm. I mean, outside, I'll be inside doing. It. it makes me a better cook, you know. The more you do, the better you get. Right, Bobby? Very good. Smelling in Manila, man, one of my favorites. I bottle it up and take it to the uh, processing recycle or one of the uh, bio uh, bio uh, diesel facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby, you had to check the check the uh, peas and everything should be okay here for a couple of minutes. I'm going to check the time. Of the all right. Man, that's looking good, isn't it? What do you think, Janet Fields? Woo! crazy out here in the garden. Rosie, you really got the touch. I got to get my slotted spoon. That's what the hell I'm missing.
What do you think, guys? Woo! Hey, Joey D, how are you? Black how are you doing? Saturday on the Rancho, Bobby. Hey, Joey D. Joey D, I hope you got your fill of baseball because it's going to be a record short season. Man, that's looking good, isn't it? I don't think we got room for dessert. I think we got room for dessert. No, I just broke that thing up. I just bring that slobby spoon. How did I put that thing? I just brought that thing up, Bobby. I'm losing my mind here. You left it in the house. I left it in the house, yeah. This is one of the best things you can have. Why should you tell you, uh, Red Wolf? It should be obvious. What is it? Get a little crunch on that. Want to make sure chicken's always cooked very thoroughly. Back to the heat in the dish. Look at the color on that, huh? Looks good, doesn't it, Icy? Huh? Back on the side. Yeah, they bought they bought another home out in the country, so they rented this out. Oh wow! For here. Yeah, we know, Dan. That's why you're here because you like to watch paint dry. They say one thing and they do another. watching this but they show up oh <laughs> hey Lisa how you doing sorry about that watching you while I'm getting ready for work <laughs> there we go oh Lisa 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 all right we got about three more minutes and that chicken should be officially done Hey, hi, Princess. Let me grab my table. The, princ the princess is here. Hi, Princess.
I'm busy as a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> All right, I think we can pull the chicken. Man, look at that. Did it get any better than that? I don't think so. Let that drain off a while there. Now we're going to give these a whirl. We're going to try one experimentally in here. Drop a corn fritter right there. Make sure that temperature is up. Let these uh, let these corn fritters cook off. Anybody from the south will know how truly delicious corn fritters are. We're going to use that. Uh, chicken flavor to our advantage here. I'll save some for the uh, save some for the um, for the potato and we'll try two different varieties and see which is better here. Let me grab the plate. UFO. How's that look UFO? Unidentified frying object. Potatoes should be getting close. Look at how those fritters puffed up. Gotta grab some confectioner's sugar too. What the hell's wrong with the heat? Let's turn that heat up a bit. got a bowl here. I'm working three bowls here. I'm going to have to dish out your peas. Look at the way those fritters are floating, baby. No, these aren't hush puppies. Yeah, look at you. Hey, Chef, how you doing? Nice to see you, sir. These aren't hush puppies. These are corn fritters from Peter Pan Inn in Urbana, Maryland. <laughs> Hello, Carl. Looking good. Let that let down go really good. Yeah, 
a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Got us over 100. Carl, how you doing? Hello, Chair. Nice to see you. Yeah, these are the uh, Southern Sweet Corn Fritters. You getting hungry, Bobby? Just a couple more minutes on the t potatoes. I'm gradually moving them in a uh, clockwise direction over the more of the heat. Hello, Mark. How are you? Good to see you. Mike is good with cauliflower. How you doing, winter storm? Waffle. These are looking righteous. These babies popped right up. I'll let them get good and good and golden brown on one side, and then we'll turn them. A couple more minutes for the uh, taters. It's a fiesta, country fiesta tonight. Dinner on the rancho. Is there anything better than dinner on the rancho? No. I don't think so. <clears throat> Just have plenty of paper towels. How you doing, Kevin? Sorry I missed you earlier. Getting a little windy here. Let's turn these babies over. Oh, yeah. It's fritter time. Look at those babies. We're going all out on the fat index tonight. Look at those babies. Huh? They're nice and golden. Yeah, good to see you, Kevin. Aren't they looking good? They look good. I just got to make sure that the uh, flame doesn't blow out on me. That's your basic corn fritter right there. Dust them with a little confectioner sugar, and you've got some kind of eating right there. Can't do anything without that. Cut these potatoes a little bigger tonight, so. That's looking good. That chicken needs to cool off anyway. How those fritters look, huh? Five star. There you go. I'm Michelin three star rated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you have a thumbs up, please give a thumbs up here. Much appreciated. This first batch of fritters is about to uh, come out. And a couple more minutes. We want to make sure that they're good and good and rocking. There's the chicken. That's the star of the day right there. <laughs> hey Coco Lupe, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dinner looks good. Hey Prince Noob, how are you? Yeah, just a couple more minutes on the potatoes and uh, I'll plate up Bobby's dinner. How many drumsticks you want, Bobby? 
two, 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 two drumsticks. Okay, that's what I figured you for. That's exactly what I put you down for. Let me give a little taste test of this sucker here. Let's do a little quality control. That burning the hell out of myself here. <laughs> Little death dust of confectioner's sugar. That is delightful. Yep, recipes right down there. That's the uh, famous Peter Pan Inn. Just a bit more on that side. Hoping the gas holds out on that cylinder. Not much left in it. Yeah, the potatoes take a while. Take a while because I don't have the total. Peter Pan Inn in Urbana, Maryland was famous. It was started in 1926 by the Baumgarten family, and they were famous for serving country meals. Mother's Day, 1961, they would become so popular, they served 3,100 meals in one, <laughs> one day there. So we used to drive out from Baltimore, take about uh, 40 minutes to get there or so, but it was so worth it. Stand in line. Oh, sometimes you had to wait up to five hours to get wow. it. All right. Pop the uh, fritters over here. But it was good, man. It was country style. They just kept it coming on that table. All right, we're going to give them the first dusting Peter Pan style here with the uh, confectioner's sugar, and that's the way they served them up. Just like that. How's that look? They used to bury it in that stuff. I think we can turn this off now. That should taste extra good with that uh, chicken. Let's hit that up with those. A confectioner sugar. Southern style corn fritters right there. <laughs> Melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. I put meat in your mouth. Alright, I think I can pull the potatoes now and plate up in her butt. Give you a couple of these. up here with the potato. Yeah, they've been a long time tonight. But they're getting good and golden right now. I can't wait to try one of these babies. Southern style corn fritters. This is what people remember most about that restaurant. Besides the fact they didn't have to eat for a week when they <laughs> left it. Yeah, they were full, huh? <laughs> full? Not like Chinese food. Full doesn't even begin to define it. I think we can pull some potatoes here. These look good too. Let them drain off a bit.
Lepers, let it be said, Rosie doesn't throw down a good feed, Bobby. And let me tell you, we've had some legendary feeds here on the Rancho. Okay, I'm going to grab your peas. I'm going to give you two, two drums here. I'm going to call it good. Let's turn this heat off. Let's give these a little bit of a little shake of salt here. And I'm going to put you guys back. Just like you did in the Army, right, Bobby? Huh? Yeah. Hey, look. Taters are golden brown. So I am going to go ahead and plate up Bobby's meal here. Let me move some things to the side. I hope you enjoy it, Bobby. I'm going to put you guys back over here. And we're going to give this a whirl. Let me flip that around. That. Not to get you guys too seasick. There we go. All right, let me plate up Bobby's. Bobby wants two, two drums here. Okay. A couple of, uh, let's get you one fritter. You may or may not like them. I don't know. How does that look? Ooh, dinner. How's that look? There it is. Huh? You got your knife and fork and everything? You no. want to sit your plate here? Where they? Huh? Where's the knife and fork? I gave them to you. I brought them out. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here you go. All right. I'm going to plate myself. Ooh, look at that. Yummy. Get a fork and how's that look, y'all? 
That's southern heat, man. One hour. One hour. One hour. Let me go get a uh, fork. Southern style. Give a smile, Bobby. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to try this fritter first. Look at this baby. That is so friggin' tasty. That just takes me back. That just takes me back to the 1960s and 70s right there. Hi, Joan M. Mm. Tater's good? Yeah, it all's good. You got a B on you there. I know. Let's try a bite of from? this chicken. Wow. Hey, Juice, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right, Juice. That's what you call eating Southern style here on the Rancho tonight. Hello, Yellow Jacket. Get the hell out of here. You giving it out of 10 tonight? Craig, I want you to give this uh, this corn fritter a ten. What do you think that fritter? A little dust of confectioner sugar yeah, that just takes big. me back, huh? Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, good. I knew you'd enjoy that. Mm. Cheers, guys, to a, another successful kitchen stadium tonight. Try you like the potatoes, huh? Potatoes are good. Yeah, and that tastes so. Hey, Laura, yeah. <laughs> Laura, it's, it's high on the mouth-watering index there. Ah. I think you're probably surprised at the fritter, how good that... Uh, very good. Got a nice taste of it. Noreen, I haven't even eaten today. I've been going around. I was in the shop cleaning up there. I was gone nuts. Mm. Thank you, Scotty. You had that chicken? Gonna try a bite of that chicken. That's the payoff tonight. I'll tell you, these these things are out of sight. These fritters. Hmm. Isn't that perfect for a summer night, Mark? Thumbs up or appreciated, guys. If you enjoyed the uh, cooking. Oh yeah, chicken's good too. Yeah. Glad you enjoy it, Bobby. I gotta make sure you're eating enough. <laughs> Slap your mama good, Shay. <laughs> Just wanna make sure that chicken's cooked all the way through and of course it is.
nice um nice uh bobby yeah it's very nice bobby's getting some home cooking huh mm. i'm just nibbling away thank you joan in yep thumbs up are always appreciated mm. cooking outside is just fun it forces you to take one or two pans and really think about how you're going to do something, how you're going to time things and all that. That's what I like about it. Plus being in the fresh air oh, yeah. and everything and the weather is so beautiful all the way through November and we were doing Kitchen Stadium through December and right on through. I do it by sight. I knew I had it in long enough that uh, the juices were running clear when you pierce it. So. What's your biggest surprise on the plate? The, the corn fritter or what do you think? Well, the corn fritter is good. The potatoes are good. Mm. You sprinkle these babies with some confectioner sugar. And <laughs> baby, Rosie's a gal of the South. Bobby will never retire. Don't worry, Brandon. Bobby's never going to retire. <laughs> Bobby likes being productive too much. And well, that is, I have no idea what retire means. Mm. I'm a capitalist. Mm. I, I, my hobby is collect money. Uh, Deliscable. That cornstarch really helps make sure that the coating sticks on the chicken, you know? Mm. That's yeah, true. it tastes... That's true. That's true, Wilbur. They're much bigger than Peter Pan size, but they are... I didn't know they blow up that big in the pan, but they are... They taste exactly the same. I don't think Bobby's uh, Bobby's never been a material-driven kind of. You never cared about material no. things too much. You know? I, I give my money away. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely eat with your eyes. Let's give you a go, thumbs you up, go, Joanne. <laughs> thumbs up for my wonderful moderators too. Thank you, Nori. Do you own gold, silver coins, or other assets? Anything? I have silver coins. I just collect them to give my grandkids. What do you think of my coating? My uh... really good. Yeah, my moderators really do a wonderful job on my channel. They pay a price for it, but they're the best of the best. <laughs> Tara, Tara, my new thing is. Uh... Corona, because mm. I don't want to get ill. See that Corona, <laughs> but I do have butt in my refrigerator. <laughs> what well, I didn't drink any, I was saving it for you. <laughs> what are you drinking? Huh? I got Michelob Ultra, so. Well, drink it. Just the only it. time I can drink Corona is when I'm having Mexican food. <laughs> it just seems to match so well with Mexican. Yeah. Otherwise. It just feels, it just feels a little out of, uh, you know, like not, I don't know what, I don't know what I'd say. Man, I'm going to have another one of those uh, corn fritters. Princess, be careful. When you get up here, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Tara will be up visiting, hopefully, God willing, with this pandemic BS. This is so crazy. This is beyond crazy. All this madness in the world. Mm. If you never had Tecate light, that's a good one too. Yeah, that's good. I think Tecate is a pretty good, uh, pretty good beer. That's all you got down in Mexico was Tecate or Tecate light if you went into the clubs or the bars.
Nothing wrong. That was a that's a tasty beer. Well, and plus in, in Mexico, the, the, the beer is like 25 cents a bottle. Yeah, it was like uh, it was like two dollars for beer over there. Dos Equis, yeah. Mm. Enrique San Miguel, <laughs> my number one beer of all time. Absolutely phenomenal beer. Hong Kong, I had my first can of San Miguel. It just totally changed. San Miguel is unbelievable. Especially if you get it before it's imported here. What a delicious beer. Are you good? No, I'm good. Yeah. I'm going in for leg number, drumstick number two. Oh, thank you, uh, Maxes. I appreciate that. Love your show, Rosie. Great content all the time. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. That makes me feel uh, great to be pre Yeah, let's see if we can ram that to 150 thumbs up tonight. That would be great. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to grab one more drum and I need another one of those corn fritters, Bobby. <laughs> Fritters a surprise to you? There it is. So you were drinking Russian River wine? I was? Really? I don't drink wine. <laughs> oh, your video, so, oh, now, now you're drinking Russian River vine, wine. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that uh, video. You were up in Hillsburg? Yeah, I did a whole cinematic uh, travel vlog oh, in really? Hillsburg. I think I read where they well, let Well, thank people, you, Max. I appreciate drink that. wine on the... Uh, yeah. The, uh, They've ditched the container, open container laws. You can drink in public. Yep. Pretty wild. I can imagine. Right there on the square in the, in the grass and everything. Yep. Mm, delicious. Everything is cool about Healdsburg. It's a very cool town. Mm -mm -mm. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Healdsburg's over here. Along, along with Sonoma. It's fun to go for a couple of hours up here. Yeah. But they just want to price all the locals out and make it a tourist attraction like Sonoma. What a dinner, huh? Very good. Better eat up. You know I don't have a big appetite. I know, but uh, good chicken and everything, potatoes. Yeah, I can take that. Home. I get out for lunch tomorrow. See, Mark says, Bobby, thank you for your service. My father was a Korean War vet. There you go. Oh, nice. My my father was a World War II vet. And I, and I was in the Army in 70, 71, but I was just a cook. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's got everybody's got to be something in the Army, Bobby. There's no such thing as just, just a cook. I was just a cook. <laughs> hey, Tess, how you doing? <clears throat> thank you. Mm. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, Tess. 
Mexican pulque day. I don't think I've had that before. I've always told Bobby, uh, and uh, what do they say? An army marches on its stomach, so yeah. the cooks are very, very important. Hey, Sassy, <laughs> I was a cook at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I fed the 82nd Airborne and the Green Berets. <laughs> and you want to talk about scary people? <laughs> Whatever they wanted to eat, I would cook it for them. <laughs> Especially the Green Berets back in that day. What a feast. Mm. Yeah, Craig said, Bobby, you realize how important it is to servicemen and yourself? Thanks, Mac. Sorry, well, they Max. look forward to it and enjoy that part, a big part of their whole uh, mental state. It's something to look forward to. Food is critical. You know? <laughs> yeah. There aren't a lot of happy things when you're going through boot camp. <laughs> no. And no. Mm. Especially when they all just came from jumping out of airplanes and they they had dirt all over them and they're dirty and hungry and it's like, just feed me. <laughs> just boot them out, Cheryl. That's the easy thing to do. Let them start up one of their other 25 troll accounts. Yeah, yeah. And it, when I was at Fort Bragg, I lived off, I lived off hey, coast. Hey, Darby, thank you. I lived off coast. And it was me and two other guys and it was a duplex. And next to us were the uh, three MPs. And we used to have parties out there every weekend. And a bunch of guys would come out there and <laughs> thinking that they were going to, you know, be dickheads. And the MPs would just pull out their 45s and say, hell no. Party's <laughs> over before it began. Hell no. Hmm. <laughs> Party well, you know, I was like 21 years old, so that was a long time ago. <laughs> That was like uh, 50, years, 50 years ago. <laughs> Drank pulque with family, friends, and came up missing for three days. Oh, my God. I saw, um, I guess that was probably pulque that they were uh, um, drinking. Some people ferment their own beverages with the uh, agava, cactus, and also some of the uh, sugar cane down there. I'll only drink, uh, you know, if I'm in Mexico, I only drink something that's commercially manufactured. It's in a, in a bottle, <laughs> in a bottle or yeah. in a can. I'm not going to yeah. sit there and have water at the, uh, you know, at the restaurant. No, Craig, I'm not. I'm not. I had, I had a friend, his name Baxter. He was in, um, he, sta he stayed in, uh, at Fort Bright and, um, God, I can't remember. Fayetteville. He opened up a restaurant back there, and I went back about 15 years ago to visit him, and uh, he was still crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still hang out with your Boy Scout friends, and uh, oh, yeah. not this year because of the... Uh... Right. Well, we, we do Zoom every Saturday at 4. Oh, wow. Okay. We got to do a casino night, you know, to go down to... Uh... I had good luck last time. Did you? Yep. You usually have good luck down there, don't you, Bobby? No. At that place? They, they, I have so much of their money. <laughs> yeah, Bobby <laughs> does, bro. Maybe I'll see if I'm going to be in town. Maybe I'll tr uh, maybe try to shoot for Thursday night. Maybe for a little bit of a casino night or something yeah, like good. that with uh, with Bobby. Treat Bobby for some dinner. Bobby's always been cool. He's always been a high roader. And, yeah, he stepped up to the plate to serve. He didn't have much choice when Uncle Sam came calling. But... Hey, Mark, I got a letter. It said, greetings. <laughs> Stick your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. The President of the United States, Richard Nixon. <laughs> You're Vietnam bound, baby. Mm. Nine, 1970. And I was partying. You're and some... All these friends, and it was like... Grilling some petite sirloin tonight from a I love Butcher Quality. Yeah, Butcher Quality, I just can't... I, I can't put the, slap the money down for that. Do you remember when I was in Healdsburg, and I went into that uh, into that shop, $44 a pound for some of that beef in there up in Healdsburg. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. That's good, Moxie. Yep. 
Nothing like a dog. Couldn't find any steak today. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, your, uh, your dogs are luckier than me, right? Bobby was such a badass. How old were you? 16 or 18? You just took off for uh, when Mexico. And... No, I was a, I was a junior in high school. Yeah, like 16, <laughs> and me, me and my friends, uh, we decided let's go to Mexico. Mm. So we all left, go to, went to Mexico, and we told each you know there's four of us. We told each other's mother would say we're gonna go stay at somebody's house and uh, oh my god. Yeah, there when you I go. got home, my mother was so pissed. That was the, that was the. <laughs> Uh, what was that? The Chevy that the steering wheel came yeah, off, and yeah. they handed it to you in the passenger seat. And said you drive along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys were insane, Bobby. Well, I grew Damn. up in San Francisco. I, I grew up in San Francisco. I mean, this is back in the '60s, you know. I mean, my favorite show at the uh, Avalon Ballroom was like, let's see, Steppenwolf, Santana, and the Grateful Dead, three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bobby. Bobby would see um, what's her name with the uh, Janice Joplin. Janice Joplin, with her. big brother, and 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 the uh, Jefferson Airplane. Bobby used to hang around with uh, Grace Slick and Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> but you told uh, Janice Joplin her Porsche had the top down. It's pouring rain. Yeah, right? it's like you might want to put your top. <laughs> she up didn't give all. a shit. Did? She didn't give a shit. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't care for nothing no, about no, that no, thing. No, and you know what the funny thing is. You look on her seat, and there was like a uh, a fifth of Jack Daniels. Yeah. The time Bobby was wheeling milk into Chinatown when Clint Eastwood is filming a movie there, walks right into the movie set. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Who is this guy? Yeah, hey, I, I, I tripped over his foot. <laughs> it's the milkman, man. I got to make my deliveries. Well, he's in the movie. Okay. All right. It looks good. Keep him in the, keep him in yeah, the movie, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they, they were pissed. Yeah. They, they, they were kind of pissed, though. Yeah, dirty <laughs> Harry. That's funny. But you told him, hey, man, the, the life goes on. You know what? I am not. I am not to be denied. I had a job to do. I mean, they were doing. Um, what was it? Um, Nick Nolte and Eddie. Yeah, Murphy. forty-eight hours. Yeah, <laughs> on Broadway Street. I was serving uh, in, in Regios. And they said, hey, you can't come down here. I said, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I got a schedule, guys. <laughs> they ended up liking you, you know. They're like, Bobby's cool, you know. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you check out uh, Dirty Harry's <laughs> Bobby and Johnny. <laughs> Mark Wine Chairman, that's my number one 70s band is the band. The I, saw, I saw the band when they played with... Uh, Bob Dylan. They were. Hey, here's another show for you. Winterland, New Year's Eve, Tower of Power. Yeah, I did, Prince. I, I can Tina Turner and Van Morrison. Five bucks. <laughs> five five dollars. <laughs> I'll tell you what. But five dollars was a lot of money back in the. Uh, yeah, 60s. you can you can check them out in the movie there. The milkman coming. <laughs> the milk's got to go. Milk's got to go through. The band. The night they drove old Dixie down, I don't care what you say about Joan Baez, the band did it first, okay? And the other thing is the weight, right? Two, two outstanding, they made the cover of Time Magazine. I rode in hey, the Nazareth. And here's another thing I'll tell you all of them. I saw Rick Nelson, the Everly Brothers. Um, who, who's the guy that did, um, uh, let me think. <laughs> My, my age is catching up to me. No, but you know Bill Graham always brought the best to the. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, he was yeah. he was the he was the premier concert promoter oh, at yeah. that time. Yeah, by far. Yeah, yeah. by far. Yeah, oh, the man. Who, who's the guy who did? We don't smoke oaky op oh, uh, marijuana on on the uh, courthouse. What the hell is his name? It's not really, is it? No, it's not. Maybe Johnny I, Cash I or. Uh, Oh, uh, Waylon Jennings? Waylon? Yeah. 
Or is I it Whale and that. Jennings? Yeah, you told me Whale and Jennings, that story. <laughs> yep. Shut up, Princess. Yeah, that's my favorite song, too, <laughs> Max. Princess, shut up. <laughs> that song that waits the only song in history to comply, combine. Merle Haggard. You know what I love about Merle Haggard? He was telling uh, Johnny Cash, hey, I saw you at Folsom Prism, and Johnny Cash said, I didn't know you were in the band. He said, no, I was in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> That song, The Wait, the only song in the history of rock music, combines gospel, blues, and rock in one in one <laughs> tune right there. I rolled into Nazareth. Do, 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 do. Take a load off, Fanny. Take a load for free. Hey, hey, hey. And put the load right on me. Yeah, Carson was good at doing interviews. Yes, he absolutely was. Yeah, why me, Lord? <laughs> Bobby, what did you think? It was good. I'm going to wrap up that piece of chicken and the other one. You can take that yeah. with you. Okay? Yeah, I'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. Yep. Or lunch. Oh, thank you, Max. Well, I've been, I've been kicking around a long time, so... <laughs> <laughs> I went to a garden party, seeing my old friends. If memories were all I played, I'd rather drive a truck, cause it's all right now. Sitting on the dock of the bay, written right down in Sausalito, right there, Otis Redding. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you. Anybody that's a first-time chatter like Max, good to see you uh, posting in the side chat. You've been following me for a long time. I really appreciate that. Some nights we work really hard to try to bring people out of the woodwork a little bit and incorporate them into the chat and say hi. I run a really nice chat here. It's, it's drama-free, and as you can see, it attracts more people over time that just want to come and hang out and have a good, have a good time. Nothing wrong with drama. I tune into it late night when I'm sleeping, <laughs> but it wasn't right for me. I just burned out on it. I, I, don't, do, I don't do drama. <laughs> yeah, it reminds you. You still has his heart in San Francisco. Hey, Nature Woman. Nice to see you. No, thank you, Max. We always appreciate when people are first timers. Let's see if we can get those uh, thumbs up to 150 tonight. If you haven't uh, thumbs up, I can't believe 324 people in here. We should have some thumbs up in here. Thank you. Hey, Gail, how you doing? I have the AC turn on. It says 76. Oh, there you go. Come on, Scott. You don't. You don't like yeah. the drama. I don't do drama. Yeah, I think uh, the weights like Scott. One of like my I favorite. said, I only I only take the high road. <clears throat> Bobby taught me those lessons, and they paid off very well on uh, very well on YouTube. Very smart guys. Sometimes Bobby will tell you. I'll bite my tongue, but I <laughs> I kept to it. I kept to it. We get the yellow jacket season too. Hey natural woman. Hello girl. I rode in Take a load off. Yes he did. Okie for Mistoki. Do that. I don't do that, girl. I don't do drama. I don't let crazy in my world. Cheryl, I'll eat it tomorrow. Cheryl, I'm not a big eater. Just me. Oh, what a feast, Bobby. Huh? It was good. I'm gonna wrap up that with the uh, the other piece. Yeah, take it so the so the. Uh... That's right, Golden State. And plus, I have great metabolism. Yeah, let me take that other. Uh... Yeah, Bobby's always on the go. I'm busy. I don't have time to sit around. <laughs>
Princess, be quiet, Princess. My dogs are good. They're at home waiting for me. The pit bull, the chihuahua, and the cat. Gail, Gail. Janice Joplin lived across the street from my ex-wife on 22nd and Noe. She lived up in the apartments. And down below was the uh, laundromat. And she used to go down there and wash and dry her clothes like once a week. And we'd see her in there. But she was always sitting in there drinking something. Die too young. Yes, Sassy, I have kids and grandkids. I have a 46 year old son, 44 year old daughter, 25 year old granddaughter, and a 16 year old grandson. And let me tell you, all four of them are annoying as hell. And an ex-wife. I do. Yes, I do, sassy girl. Most of the time. Cheryl S., you're just a child. transportation for the next 18. I will never retire. 
especially now because they pay me to stay home. Fifty-one. Fifty-one is when I, I retired from the milk business. And the princess, she's like 40, 43. She's got a long way to go. Now I don't. I don't. I don't need cakes. I don't. I don't need sugar. A milk bear, really? Cool. Hey, Tammy. I, I was a milkman in San Francisco for 28 years. I had my own route in downtown San Francisco, and then on, on uh, I did vacation on the trailers. I do I pull a 40 footer up and down the highway. And that that beat your body up. At 51, I had to retire. I was at Fort Bragg, Maggie. It's, it's a lot of work at the processing plant. Extravaganza, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just about done, guys. Got a lot of crap to put away. Sugar, salts, everything. How you like that corn fritter, Bobby? Was that, that was a surprise really good. for you? Yeah. Huh? That was really good. I've known Rosie for probably 10 years now. 
I was minding my own business one day. I'm walking down the street, and she had this camera, and she stuck it in my face. And I said, what do you want? And she said, let me ask you a question. But we've been friends since. <clears throat> I don't I don't remember what the question was. Yeah, Craig. We we've, we've been friends forever. Jerry, my advice is always take the high road. Be, a, be above the fray. Hey, we, we have good road trips. I mean, our trips to uh, Vegas with... Um, Hooking up with uh, Rory and Randy and uh, Mr. Z. That's always fun. But, you know, with all this craziness going on in the world, I just stay home. I mean, I've been home for, off, I've been off work for, eh, over three months, and I've worked like 12 hours in three months. But they hate, they keep sending me money, so it's like, life is good. You're right, sir. You're, you're right, Jerry. What a feed. Oh, I'm going to give myself a solid yeah, 10 stars yeah. on that one. I, you know what? I wouldn't do anything different. My mother raised me right. My See, mother did the right thing. Mother used to slap the hell out of you, didn't she, Bobby? You know? Well. Where was she born? Pennsylvania? Was yeah, she? she was born in Pennsylvania, and her relatives came from uh, Ireland. But I tell you, one, one time I was at home and she was ironing and she was saying something to me and I was walking down the stairs and she got really pissed and she picked up the iron and she threw it at my fucking head and put a big hole, <laughs> hole in the wall and I ran out the door and I was gone for hey, like Yankee. three days. And when I got back home, I thought, okay, she's calmed down. And I walked in the house and she looked at me and she said, fix the goddamn hole in the wall. <laughs> Damn, you fixed it too. Didn't I, you, Bobby? Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> How you doing, Yank and Chains? Haven't seen you in a minute. Good to see you. I hope that you were uh, staying well. It's it's probably best to minimize for you to travel and stuff right now. So don't travel. I mean, uh, when you were here in hey Amy, when you were here when uh, D was here, we had 600 cases. Now we have uh, close to 3,000. 3,000, and yeah. like over 30, 30 people have died. 30 people dead so far. It's getting but, into but a, lot, a lot of them are from the um, nursing homes yeah. and things. I mean, over in um, Sonoma on Broadway, and then over on Douglas Street on. Um, oh, Pedro. yeah, tell the. Uh, the Van Morris in this. Was that in Sebastopol <laughs> or. No, that, that, that was in Katari. That's so, where I went and visited the accordion <laughs> capital of America yeah. there. So Van Morrison, he's at the um, restaurant in Katati and have, having lunch with his uh, daughter. And it's the um, inn and beginning, it's what it used to be called. 
and there was a piano up there. So he walks up there and he starts playing the piano. And the waitress goes up to him and says, oh, I'm sorry, sir, we don't let people uh, play the piano. <laughs> and he looks at her like, okay. <laughs> that was Van Morrison. <laughs> playing for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, he said, all right, we'll leave. And then uh, people were like, man, don't you know who that was? You could have gotten a, you could have gotten a free concert here yeah. with uh, Van Morrison. Van Morrison playing the piano for free. <laughs> and those people never showed up in town again, did they? Jeez. Bad decision, yeah. It always amazes me. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Max. It always amazes me how many famous rockers Bobby intersected over the years but then again San Francisco was like a hot area for uh, yeah. all of them out here so hey I, I went I went to school with Carlos Santana at James Lick Junior High School and Mission High School he came to James Lick Junior High School we we're in the same grade did I just read he just turned 73 he's like three years older than me we're in the same grade it's like what the fuck well, it's always it's always easier the second time around. Yeah, you know? yeah it's like what? That's what my. And we we be in gym class and you know doing whatever, and he'd be there with his guitar. Who That's knew? The, I remember I went to an engineering high school, and it was hard as hell. <clears throat> I came out with like a C plus average, or it was brutal. And they, people used to whine and complain, like mechanics, not auto mechanics, but real mathematical IJK vectors, summation of forces, structural engineering, and uh, they'd whine, man, this is just too hard. The teacher would be like, don't worry, it's always easier the second time, <laughs> yeah, the second time, time around. around. And they would they would flunk you, man. They didn't care. They didn't care. Isn't Journey from around here? I'm not sure if uh, Journey's I'm around not, here not sure. or not. I'm not sure. Bobby met the, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know about that, Sassy, you find a lot of differences of opinion about the, how smart I am, but, uh, <laughs> certainly, uh, certainly learned a lot about engineering and things. You had so much engineering that you, you were, you could, you could skip your first year of college. <laughs> so many people went to, uh, Virginia Tech and Drexel University and MIT and places like that. It's where, uh. Alonzo Decker of Black and Decker graduated from there. <laughs> Barely letting kids fail. I mean, uh, they had no worry. Your stuff was all printed out on a big digital equipment mainframe. It came bo -bo -bo, spinning out on a little spindle, a little green and white sheet tear off whether you graduated or not. Hey, hey Princess. Hey, you MJ. Might, you, Princess, you must have Googled that because I know you didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's a legend in rock circles. Former members of Santana and Frum Frumius Bandersnatch. Tara knows a lot more about it yeah. than I do. No, no, Santana. He went to he went to James Lick Junior High School. He hung out at Dolores Park, right? Right across. Yeah, the, right, right across the street from uh, um, Mission High School. And if you want to see Bobby on a journey back to his, uh, where he grew up. <laughs> Ch had, Chattanooga Street. Yeah, Chattanooga Street. We had Tara up here. We did uh, Cinematic San Francisco with uh, yeah. with her. And Tara, Tara should be happy to leave her out <laughs> in San Francisco. The princess. Yeah, we used to have a question in space to put the answer. No multiple choice. You either knew it or you didn't. No grading on the curve either. <laughs> A curve doesn't mean that you know anything. It means you just knew a little more than the other people in uh, in class. Write a book. Yeah. No, Gail, I'm taking it to my grave. I'm sharing it with all of you so you know. Yeah, we had a good time, didn't we, Tara? We went up to uh, the Sutro Towers or Twin Towers. Twin, uh, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, yeah. yeah. And you know what the best thing about going into the Avalon Ballroom or... Uh, uh, the Fillmore West, you didn't have to smoke weed. Just walk in and start breathing. <laughs> MSN Mario. He's a dick. Somebody just show MSN Mario the gate. He's back on one of another uh, troll accounts here. Um, yeah, so I'm always I'm always impressed with what uh, I was always impressed with Bob. Bob, you're you could still be a pretty damn good golfer. 
you know, you were a good yeah. golfer. Your basketball was your big thing. I was, but not anymore. <laughs> Them days are gone. Yeah, well, you played a lot of athletics and things. You coached... Uh, Coach baseball, uh, coached -star, basketball. Post-high school, all-stars and things like that. Yeah, played uh, high school basketball, high school baseball. How'd your team do? Pretty good in Mission High? Or no. Were you... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was like, okay, it's Friday night. <laughs> We get loaded or we get high. <laughs> See Bobby a little bit of a forward power forward there, you know? Exactly. Uh, off of Adult Friend Finder, I guess all the way back in 2010, Bobby? Has it been 10 years? It's been 10 years. Yes, yeah. Cheryl, one, yep. one, you know, Cheryl, once was enough, believe me. It cost me so much money, I thought, if I did this twice, I would be living on the street. So Bobby's like, I'm local, we ought, to, uh, <laughs> we ought to meet and hang out or something. So I'm like, what was it, two years? Or... I'm like, no, I got my, I got, <laughs> I got too much on my table with, I just bought this uh, place and everything. Yeah. What's going on in there? <laughs> Finally, we went out to the Toad and Hole. Toad and Hole. Had a beer and then I said, let's go for a coffee. And the next next day, Bobby like, I didn't even sleep last night. I don't drink coffee at night. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. <laughs> no. <night's> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. That was the first and last time I ever did uh, coffee at the Aroma Roasters with uh, with uh, with Bobby. <laughs> seriously, seriously good company. Uh, class A guy all the way. And these little uh, yellow jackets are starting to come around. I know, what's up with that? Yeah, states. In, I guess it's that time of year. All the <laughs> that a boy, Mark. You're smart. You're, you're as smart as I look. <laughs> the legend, of, the legend of Bobby. Yeah, we had a lot of good times. You can look up a lot of our trips all the way back to June of 2013, my birthday trip up to Reno. We had the Joan Rivers, uh, one of the last times she was in live. What a trip. The uh, Reno zombie crawl up to uh, Virginia City. And, uh, a lot of good stuff. Oh, I'm fine, Jackie. I'm not that happy. I'm like a... Uh, one between 165 and 175 somewhere in there yeah let's see if we can get to 200 thumbs tonight hanging out with the uh, bobby <laughs> 20 hours a day you wonder why i get up at 6 30 i come out of here you can hear a pin drop out here I teach my nephews in private gathering. Some public schools still teach it. I don't know. Bringing on your old stuff. Ah, it is. It, it is what it is. Do a video making mixed drinks. The only way I drink hard liquor is just straight up. Terror will have it straight up neat. I like it over the rocks. I don't put any mixers with, like if you're gonna, like Tara and I, we bought a bottle of Woodford Reserve. That crap was, that shit was $55 a bottle, okay? And uh, ain't no way I was gonna use that as a uh, as a mixer. So I don't, if I'm having that, I just pour it over a little bit of ice and enjoy it. Thank you, Cheryl. Do your life transition, hate the word retire. Any, any pointers? Have a very thick skin, okay? My biggest advice to anybody going down that road is have a very, very thick skin and be very well-centered within yourself, okay? Because you're gonna, uh, it's, it's a very rocky, rocky road. <laughs> How do 
use a dictionary. Ooh. That would be my number one piece of advice is have a very thick skin. Mendon Hall, Mississippi. Yeah, can I ask what editing pro are you making? Uh, Jackie R, I have two programs. That one of them I rarely use anymore because I don't really have the gear to break it out. It's called DaVinci Resolve, and it's really a top flight program. It has editing, color grading with color wheels, and it's a very complicated program. But I do all my editing in phone with something called Power Director by CyberLink. You can drop music on, you can uh, dip the music, you can raise the music, you have the ability to slow down uh, footage when you want something more cinematic. It's a great, easy way to, uh, to do things. And I use Epidemic Sound for my music. I pay like a hundred bucks a year and I can use all of their great music and I don't have to worry about schlepping around trying to find music. Hey, Amy's Place Studio 52. Happy weekend to you. Very happy to hear Bobby, uh, see Bobby here tonight. Uh, I've done everything with that. When you're traveling and I'm just doing cell phone vlogs and things like that, you can do it in camera, you can upload it. Uh, it's so easy to, uh, so easy to use. Yeah, no, Bobby's here. We're very comfortable weather tonight. <laughs> Bobby's not cold. Usually we're, usually we're freezing here. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll be, I'll be um, sometimes, some. Gail. Yeah, I've thought about that sometimes. Sometimes. It might make me too wild. <laughs> yeah, well, any, anybody that depends on uh, public schools for properly educating a child these days is a very <laughs> very shaky proposition and take that from somebody that was in the school system for the better part of uh, a half a year as a long-term substitute teacher in a combined third fourth grade class at Harriet Tubman Elementary School in Baltimore and then uh, later with uh, trying to obtain a degree in special education and spending six months in a uh, two days a week in a classroom. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gail. You're sweet. You're sweet. I'm not sure if Bobby, you probably, were you blonde or were you no. were brown hair? I had brown yeah, hair. Yeah, uh, brown hair. Brown yeah. hair, true. Yeah. I was here in, just like Baltimore, sticky, humid, hot, buggy night. You can cut it with a knife. Craig, <laughs> go up to Ina and Jeffrey's house. Sit out on that back deck with them tonight. I know they got the citronella candles going with the uh, umbrellas out there listening to the ocean. Why don't you stop by and tell them Rosie sent you. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Libra. Zoe needs her walk. Yeah, take care of Zoe. They give Zoe a power walk. Yeah, I get a kick out of her. Some of her recipes have been some of the best. Her hit that third gear. Some of her recipes, that lemon uh, lemon pound cake. Oh man, that's so good. Right on that. Wait, it is. On his house has air conditioning. The thing about her place on uh, in the Hamptons, you just walk right down and right onto the beach right there. Can you imagine how much that costs? <laughs> what is that, like a $15 million setup, Craig, over there? To Something? walk on the beach? No, <laughs> just here. to have a house in the Hamptons on the, uh, on, on the Atlantic there. Umbrella, baby. Get to grab that umbrella, Jackie. But I always enjoyed her style. I always, the, the one I always crushed on was uh, Nigella Lawson. Not so much when she got uh, slimmed down, but when she was uh, one of those, I don't want to say a big curvy girl, but- I, I uh, never met Tom Petty. She really rang my bell. 
very fancy. Yeah, I did that all myself, Ilva. You can go down on my front page. One of my playlists is called uh, Rancho Renovation Projects. You can see the whole shoot match from beginning to end. And it's most of the individual parts are on the Murphy channel. There's like 50 parts to it. And uh, the composite final one is in the playlist down below. You can see renovating the shine shack, building a wheelchair ramp for uh, the front of the place, building the wall of sound, building the workshop uh, bench of my dreams outside, project after project after project. Bobby will tell you this place, this was a POS. <laughs> How you doing, Pickerick? <laughs> this place was unbelievable when I moved here, wasn't it, Bobby? It was rough. Yeah, go check out the um, go check out the building of it. The, Janet always says it's like a high school shower room. It's so huge in the uh, shower, but you don't need a shower curtain. I actually, I actually lowered the floor in the shower area to put it below floor level, so it would be a barrier free in case Missy Jen ever needed to use a, uh, you know, to have a wheelchair to go in, and I put the uh, seat in there. There wouldn't be any barrier in there. Yeah, there's the other channel. Check it out. The playlists and things. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Cheryl and Jen. Jen and you might I, really when enjoy I, when it. When I broke my hip, I used that shower a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. A <laughs> diving into the fridge for breakfast, Jackie. That's nice, though. You just walk right in. You yeah. don't have to step over yeah. anything. And there's a seat there if you need to sit down. And well, I had to sit down because I couldn't stand up with my hip. Yeah, I got one of the uh, one of my my number one video on the Murphy channel is how to install a a uh, mixer valve. I think that has over uh, half a million views on that uh, on that one now. <laughs> Who knew? You just throw up something for three or four minutes. Thank you, Sassy. You can also see the video of uh, what the rancho looked like when I first got here. My two year renovation journey. It was agonizing. Thank God Bobby was here because I was in a very, very dark, depressive state at that time. And I put right in that video, thank goodness I had Bobby around because that, and Wolfie, my dog. That's a very sad, sad, I think it's called my two year journey or something. I gutted every piece of drywall, every piece of electrical cable every piece of plumbing right down to the studs <clears throat> took down walls yeah you might want to get somebody to come and check that slow bearings like i checked it myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can see all that down below just go to my main channel page i've got so many fun playlists that you guys can watch i've got one time I had 11,000 videos, and I've pared that down to about uh, 6,000 or so on here, a few thousand on the other channel, and it's all chock-a-block full of trips, and uh, San Diego, and cross-country trips with uh, Missy Jen, and the uh, Midwest uh, tour. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's really cool, Craig. Yep, Wolfie's OG boy. Yes, he is. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. You click that on, you will always be amused and entertained uh, on that. We did that, my, but there was ripping in bed too money. Yeah, I did all of that crap. Bobby remembers big pox, big piles of <laughs> drywall being brought in here on, on uh, trucks. I never thought I would finish. Remember the old draft, the aluminum windows? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the Wolfie Band. Thank you, Lisa. I know you do, honey. I appreciate that. So there's, there's, I don't know how many, it's got to be a year's worth of viewing just in there. You just put the playlist on trips. You want to see how ba crazy the boss is to travel with <laughs> Bobby. Go, going to Reno. See all that. Going to Reno. Going to Vegas. Sacramento. Uh, <laughs> Vegas. And so many fun trips. Yeah, do walk and talks at the railroad tracks. That's right. Yeah, thank you, Sassy. It all turned out good. 
Boss did the electric and never let. Now all the boss did was come on and say, don't worry, with the little bit of power you have here, you'll never burn down this place. Don't worry no, about Gina, it. No, Gene, I never lived here. I have my own house. Bobby has his own place. Yeah, they're good people. I enjoy them very much. Jeffrey's like a big teddy bear. I like him. He's all like somebody you want to give a big squeeze to. He has that really cute little face. <laughs> yeah, they're very giving people. And they, you know, she endures on Food Network too. That's not easy to do. She's very uh, understated in her approach. Okay, Jackie, take care. Thanks for being along tonight. I appreciate it. Let's Bye, see Jackie. if we can jam these things to uh let's see if we can get those thumbs to 200 tonight that would be great i'll tell you that was a good meal that was, very good. <clears throat> that was uh i really i don't like to pat myself on the back but that was good yep i'll always love bobby so true bobby's been through uh, a lot of stuff but he's got a lot of bounce to the ounce a lot of bounce to the end. Surgeries, tripping over the dog, and breaking a hip, and cataract. Did that. How's your vision? Good? You know? Oh my God. Perfect. Bobby well, said, I regret having a cataract surgery. I see things too well. <laughs> <laughs> it was better when there was just a well, little when, bit when, of. When I, when I didn't have perfect vision. Yeah, when Bobby was <laughs> now looking Now I got to see all the bullshit in the world. When Bobby was looking in standard definition 480, he stepped up to 4K uh, high def. <laughs> Friday's chicken, live in Florida. <coughs> I think the hurricane was downgraded a little bit, Craig. I think that they believe that the hurricane lost some strength, <clears throat> but it might, thank you, sugar cane, but it might re-strengthen between uh, where it is now and on there. All right, love you, sugar cane. Take care, my sweet. Love my sugar cane. What a comfortable night. It's unusual. We can sit out here and not have uh, be freezing our scrotes off. Yeah, Hurricane Sandy. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I just like clicked on, you know, I'm subscribed to the New York Times online edition and it just said some update to that. Why am I subscribed to the Times? Because it may be liberal, but it's the last bastion of good writing in newspapers and original journalism. <clears throat> I got trained on that in 1970, 1977. Political science, it was a requirement that you had to subscribe to the New York Times and read it every day. And they would, the professor would give quizzes out of the uh, paper and things. Expected to return approach. Okay, wow. Uh, I hope it'll be okay because, you know, the this, this sea levels are rising, so the storm surge really goes far into Miami and places yeah, like that now. Yeah. They said by the end of this century, it'll be three feet higher, the water, than it is now. And all so. those people live there and their houses are gone. Well, it's like the condominiums and, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of asset value there, but it's, it's now depreciating because nobody wants to take on the sure. headache. North Carolina. Any, uh, any walls there to uh, keep the water out? Yeah, Cheryl's Cheryl's top flight, man. I mean, Cheryl and Jen Jen and Missy. I'm very blessed by the uh, by the mods that are in here. What about the seeds from China? I mean, they kind of looked at them today. Uh, I think it's just one person doing it. Yeah, I do appreciate great writing and uh, people that are able to punctuate properly, use a little more complicated grammatical structures and things. Skirt the coast of Brevard and Volusia counties is a category one hurricane during the days for turning and take a name at North Carolina's Outer Banks. Okay, hey Ace. Yeah, Ace Carson, what a surprise seeing Bobby. How's life treating you? Hey. Hello Ace. Life is good, buddy. Now, I got now I'm going home. 
I'm going to be on for another uh, till for another 40, 50 minutes or so. I got two pumpkins on the line. I'm going to do a uh, <laughs> garden update tomorrow. So let me just. Uh, I'll see you guys next Saturday. Yep. Let me uh, just walk Bobby out, and I will be right back. Night all. Night, princess. Oh. <clears throat> Bobby over had a good time tonight. The legend to cook. Pride of the army, man. Right there. Pride of the army. Alright. There's a new sing it. I love that song, man. It's nice to find a fellow traveler. I tell people the band these days. They're like, what band? The band, man. The band. Yeah, Bobby's always been, uh, you know, uh, Bobby's always been top flight. Yeah, hope you're doing good, Juice. Good to see you. It's always an honor to see you stopping by. Maybe we can hit 200 thumbs up tonight. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do so. He's always been a wonderful friend to me drop anything to do anything help me out in a uh, pinch now just when I said that I got cold I'm gonna grab my jacket real quick <laughs> And all of a sudden it got really chilly. All right, I am back to wear a jacket. Boy, you need one here. Yeah, he's he's always very. You'll never hear Bobby telling. Uh, bragging or telling uh, telling stories and stuff it just I, I always aspired to be like uh, Bobby I fell far short but he's always been a, a mom yeah I'm putting a jacket on all this up in the temperature I don't know what the current temperature is here right now but it just went woo, once that sun goes down forget about it forget about it Time for a dip in the uh, time for a dip in the ocean, Craig. Huh? <laughs> Sixty-nine Giphy. That's it. Storm warning was in effect at 11 p.m. Saturday for inland Volusia, Okeechobee, Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties. Rain in two to four inches. Wow. To throw me a rope door is yeah. Well, Sherry, you got us, honey. Yeah, Alexa just said it's 70 degrees in Santa Rosa. <laughs> Jen, Jen. No, it's a little too early for wildfire uh, season here. <clears throat> Come October, 
that's when people sleep with one eye open. Because when the uh, when the winds change direction and a fire power line goes down, all of a sudden that fire is racing. It's impossible to fight it. I've been in the water most of the day. I feel like a salted pretzel. Yeah, that's nice though. It's it's kind of good for you to get out in that ocean. But be careful. That woman in Maine got chewed up by a. Uh, Killed by a great white shark, right? Don't wear a wetsuit out there. I guess that's the lesson. <laughs> Same thing with the people here that go surfing off Stimson Beach. They end up being uh, shark food because they're wearing wetsuits. The water's too cold. They get mistaken for, uh, you know, uh, sea lions and seals. Yeah, when they put that, when they put those wetsuits on and they're on that surfboard and they're in that water, sharks have very bad vision, okay, terrible vision. But they see something that looks like that outline of something kind of flailing in the water. It visually looks okay because it's, you know, it's dark and they're going to take a go at it. And then get wet and then go, oh, okay, yeah, there you go. I like to get a, uh, uh, I like to take a uh, surf mat out or something like that and just kind of lay back and float. Yeah, there's a big fire raging in Southern California. I think Charlie Tuna wears glasses, yeah. <clears throat> you don't want to be a feature on Shark Week. I don't blame you. I can't imagine anything more gruesome than, uh, you know, than being done off by a shark, right? That's why I always remember that story in World War II of when the USS Indianapolis went down and most of the survivors that were in the water ended up being attacked and uh, killed by sharks and stuff. What a way to go. Yeah, bitter stomach because, you know, you just look like the better part of... Uh, of a uh, harbor seal or something it's like you can't really fault the uh <laughs> you can't really fault the shark <laughs> thanks for sharing golden state <laughs> hey dave how you doing how's your mom doing hope she's doing good Suffolk County Police and Marine Helen patrolling beaches from Islip to uh, Montauk today. Um, I don't know. The trick is don't go out. Don't go out so far. And if you're out in the daytime, at nighttime, sharks come very, they'll come very close in. You wake up. I used to go fishing in Hawaii. I'd be there on the shore at 5 a.m. and there would be big tuna coming into little uh, little coves, gigantic tuna, and sharks would be around, but as it, as it gets more light, they move off to deeper water. Yeah, 1,195 crewmen aboard the Indianapolis. 300 went down with the ship. The remaining 890 faced exposure, dehydration, saltwater poisoning, and shark attacks while stranded in the open ocean. One of the really, really brutal stories of World War II. Oh, thank you, Rachel. New viewer here enjoying your content down here in Camp Pendleton. Are you military, Rachel? Hey, how you doing, Alex? Yeah, only 316 people out of 1,195 survived. Terrible. Terrible. Are you military, uh, Rachel? And welcome to the chat. I'm glad that you uh, said hi. I hope more people that are just watching. Oh, military wife. Okay, well, thank your, uh, thank your husband for his service. That's wonderful. Very proud to have a daughter in the United States uh, Space Force. My sister can't swim when her daughter. Oh man, cold. 
Damn, Golden State. <laughs> uh, thank you, Craig. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl, for posting that. That's a hell of a, a, hell of a story. <clears throat> that's the... Uh, that's the courage and the, and the horror of war all rolled into one. That's why I always have a lot of admiration for John F. Kennedy. I might not have been 100% on his politics, but he was much more central than today's uh, Democrats. But the heroism he exhibited when uh, PT-109 got, got cut in half by that uh, Japanese freighter to really work hard to save the life of his... Uh, his uh, crew had a hard day at work yeah four days they spent in sea it was crazy it's one of those narratives of war that everybody that contemplates declaring war should sit down and read the brutal story of uh, the USS Indianapolis yeah, Natalie Wood's death, I mean, you can't tell me she accidentally falls over when she's tooted. There's no waves in Avalon, right? It's calm as can be in the, the cove there on Catalina Island. Ain't no way you're going to rock off of a boat. It's a Robert Wagner. <laughs> oh, he had terrible back pain. Yeah, he injured his back, yeah. And he wrote that uh, Pulitzer Prize winning book, uh, Profiles and Courage, which is a great read. Was found in a nightgown and a coat on. Now that's weird. Good night, Alex. Should I? No, they're around there. I don't know. I, I, I like to hear, I like to hear kids running around. Oh, Bella Gray, sorry, baby. Good to see you. Give you a big kiss. I'm glad to see you here. Christopher Walken knows what happens. Eventually it'll come out. Everything always comes out in the end. Christopher Walken always scared the hell out of me anyway. Yeah, there you go, Yilva. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Like this stupid life. It just has a mind of its own. I moved the slightest little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, kid sounds are, uh, it always comes out. Ace Carson, you know that. You've been kicking around Boyd long enough. You know it always comes out in the end. Let me kick this light on here. It always comes out in the end. Uh, sorry to hear that, Bella. You like walking for you. He, I, I think I go all the way back to the deer hunter with him. All the way back, one of Meryl Streep's first movies. Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, the deer hunter. A hell of a, hell of a. I'll never forget that Russian roulette scene in that Vietnamese uh, prison camp. Wow. Very, 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 very powerful movie. A lot of you guys probably never heard of The Deer Hunter. That was one of, uh, that was one of De Niro's first movies. That won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Yeah, it's a hell of a movie. Very powerful. Very, very, very powerful movie. That's good. Christopher Walken has been married for 51 years. He never watched it all the way through. Oh, okay. Thank you, Craig. It can always help you through it. No, I haven't heard from uh, D. Laurie Dunn. No. No. Generally, when people leave the rancho, they're they're on their own. I'm not, uh, you know, 62 years old, and 
He's 40. Nope. I have no idea when I'll be back. Not my concern right now. I've been here some for 51 years too. That's awesome. I miss so much this empty nest. Uh, yeah. You'll readjust. You'll readjust. You'll readjust. I've been doing okay. You got to keep. You got to have things to keep you occupied. Uh, cinematography, videography, perfect. Growing a garden, perfect. What a great thing that Cinnamon Hot Hot sent me. Hot 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 sent me these seeds. I've been harvesting okra and squash and carrots this long and spinach. I've got lots of little watermelons, eggplant. It's so friggin' great. Deer Hunter 70 co-written from Michael Cimino about a trio whose lives were forever changed after fighting in the Vietnam War. That was a hard, hard hitting movie. Hard -hitting. I'm not a weed smoker, Shane. <laughs> Why don't you drop him a uh, email though and ask him, Shane. Let's see. Uh, Christopher Walken and Robert Wagner Gayla and Natalie found that. Um, I can't really make Christopher Walken is like, uh, yeah, sorry, Ilva. Yeah, I don't, I can't really, I can't really get, I can't really get down on that. That is something, I don't know. <laughs> Natalie Wood, a good Santa Rosa girl. She was one beautiful gal. Russian, Russian gal. Hey, UFO, good to see you. Yeah, I did a, uh, I did a uh, video driving right to uh, where she grew up. Nice to see you. People thought Natalie was having him, but actually they were just close friends and Christopher was happily married. Yeah, um, you know, I don't know whether Natalie Wood got up at night and just went to have a shot, a couple shots or something. I don't know. I don't know if she was a drinker. I don't know anything about it. That time, people were much more tight-lipped about stuff. <laughs> yep, yep, UFO is OG boy. How you doing, UFO? Nice to see you, my friend. Yeah, things were a lot. Uh, the Hollywood was much tighter universe then, you know, and the, the media didn't wasn't as vociferous and slobbering as they are now. The boat captain knows a lot and was on the show a while back discussing the death. Oh, okay. Ten-hour day. Yeah, sad about that kid. Uh, terrible. Good night, Jackie. Much love to you, honey. Yeah, the Benjamin. Uh, that's really a shame. Do you miss anything about the East Coast? I miss. I miss the closeness of towns and cities. It's much more built than here on the West Coast. So I find myself wanting to do little travels here, but I don't have the opportunity. Like if I was in Maryland, I could pick a hundred, I could pick a hundred towns in Maryland that are beautifully picturesque on Chesapeake Bay and stuff that would blow your guys' minds and all around Western Maryland, the beauty of the, uh, you know, they call a Maryland American miniature because it has mountains and ocean, you know, it's got everything there, but you know, out here you have to drive much greater distances, and it's 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 you know it's beautiful. But I love you in your chat. But come on, Hollywood is evil and going down and slowly tricking out. Oh, well, Loctini, I'm not. I'm I'm talking about this was 20 some years ago, I think. I know Hollywood's a cesspool. I know it. It's all going to come out. 
it's all going to come out. There's already rumors of Bill Clinton and uh, Beyonce and all these wild goings on. Yeah, the Four Seasons. Now we were, what remains behind? Premiering May 5th. Gregson Wagner sat down with his stepfather, who largely wrote an interview about that tragic night. Lieber says, when I moved to San Diego, there was no sense to community. I could go to the local store and never see the same people. Well, San Diego is a big tourist. Uh, it's a very transient town, a lot of those places. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure when they're going to visit. I, You know, the boss, boss has had health issues, so uh, I know Janet wants to be very careful with, uh, with him. So it's not likely that they're just going to come out and uh, hang out. Yeah, people from Balmer or a certain type. It'll all come out, Opiami. That's why Hollywood's having the shakes right now. Well, in, in the in the sum, Golden State, in the aggregate, they may be tired of individual ones. They may be not care about individual ones, but the totality of things is what is they're not liking they're not liking <laughs> uh, sorry about that uh, sorry Libra <laughs> Find my night bot still in patrol bunch of different people living in RVs uh, yeah I don't know Ace if you follow Cornelius Van Gogh or Community Cause there are two people that live there are two people that live down in the slabs down there, and I don't know. I don't want to fry my ass off in the desert out there. If I can't go jump in the ocean or find a way to cool off, it's of no value. Yeah, sorry, Libra. I don't know what is. Nightbot's just, uh, I got to spend some time on, uh, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't the slab. I got to fix Nightbot a little bit. I thought I fixed that for the most part. Yeah, she's kind of, uh, she's she's out there. Yeah, she lost her leg. She never disclosed how she did it. She's, um, she's a counterculture person. You know, she lives, in, she lives life right up to the handle. I got to give her that for doing that. Let me trigger this light again. tired of jumping around here. Come on, man. Give me some light. There we go. <coughs> Haven't had much chat. Been doing a lot of work and you too. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Her name is Cornelius Van Gogh. Cornelius Van Gogh. And I've probably followed her for four years, three or four years. She ran the library down at Slab City, and uh, just just like a free spirit. Yeah, I think Mouse is trying to get ready for what's going on. Yeah, thank you, Seattle Judy. It's been a great night. This has been a fun stream tonight. It has been, and you know why? Because you guys are here. I think this is. Uh, been a been a wonderful chat tonight thank you i just want to see if we can hit those 200 thumbs up tonight uh father last year on a trip to alaska yeah so you follow her too yeah. yeah but she's gonna have a hard road ahead i think a lot of those people that are very hard boiled in out in that environment I don't know if they can ever reintegrate back into regular life again, or uh, I don't even know how they survive. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, yeah, we can almost make it to 200 thumbs tonight. She refuses to be labeled. Um, I haven't followed that close. I know she did something about she's gender non-specific, which I have to. Uh, you know, which I have to give credit, you know, as I've stated that myself. 
No, I didn't hear about Ellen quitting, but I don't know how that she could go on with all the crap that's coming out and the Me Too with Leah Thompson and uh, Brad Garrett coming out. Yeah, there we go. I don't, I don't really see a way forward for... I don't think the audience is going to see her the same again. Well, she probably... I don't want to say quit, Lisa... But I bet that uh, I bet that uh, Warner Brothers said, "Look, you know, we don't want we don't want to go out with a lot of crap. So just just resign, quit, okay?" Oh, thank you, Karina. Show you the mom that we are <laughs> UFO. UFO. We're about to see how much how much debt we can pile on top of the pile, okay? Yes, uh, you want to know with Oprah, Tom Hanks, Hollywood, Hollywood is burning. Hello, Jude from Washington State. If he turns up, you will live, uh, you will live to be a hairy, <laughs> Bobby is left for the evening. He doesn't like to drive when it's, uh, dark. Uh, no diet. Ellen DeGeneres, all kinds of backstory came out about how difficult she was to uh, work with. I told you guys before the story in Australia, they warned me when she went on the road to Australia for her show, they warned all the people in the production crew in Australia, in Sydney or whatever, the Melbourne or whatever, they said, don't talk to her, don't look at her, don't start a conversation, okay? Just steer clear. Just steer clear. Bobby's Bobby and the boss is the boss, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, man, I can't imagine living a life like that, kind of being a, a, a tyrant, like a Catherine the Great around people, uh, like this. But don't, uh, yeah, I never got her stick. She never really moved my needle too much. I just, uh, I never really got into her, her stick. Yeah. Well, she was a contributor to it, Yilva. I believe she, let's face it, the, the star sets the tone. That's like Johnny Carson blaming, you know, Ed McMahon if stuff went off the rail, or Fred D. Cordova, who used to produce The Tonight Show. I mean, come on. The main person, they're the talent. They set the tone for what everybody, I don't care if it's the producers, the show directors, the floor people, the camera operators, the uh, teleprompter people, come on. They, they set the standard, for, that star sets the standard for like that. <clears throat> she knows everything that's going on, so. It's like, um, it's gonna be hard. You know who might make a comeback though? This, hold on to your drawers. Remember old Kathy Griffin, Griffith? She might become the new comedy darling, uh, considering the times we're in. <laughs> yeah, don't look me in the eyes. I'm special. Says she was sorry for employees' uh, behavior. Really upsets me. Uh, yeah, just just own it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't testify as to whether McMahon was a fart sniffer or not. <laughs> All right, guys, we're only nine thumbs up away tonight. It's been such a great night tonight. Such a wonderful, uh, wonderful chat. <laughs> to think I don't even have to get dressed up. She's a genius. She can, she can do it. It's all creepy. Uh, yeah, I miss Johnny Carson. Well, that's going to be my prediction. Kathy Griffin. <clears throat> we'll begin her ascent again. Although she can be kind of batshit crazy. Uh, 
I love you. Do, 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 from Hollywood. Do, 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 do. It's the Tonight Show. Do, 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 with Johnny's special guest. Doc Severinsen. Do, 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 do. And now, here's Johnny. I think it probably was the greatest show of all time. Yeah, that's what it is, Mark. I mean, if you're, if you're, you know, those producers and directors of those shows, they're, they're cutting six-figure paychecks a year, right? Cappy will rise up. Yeah, I kind of think that, uh, I kind of think that she will, Ilva. The twist of the world that we live in. Yeah. <clears throat> that was good. Look at this crap. God. Raquel Welsh lives in my heart. Oh, but she lived in my bed. All right, okay. Y'all gonna eat some Mexican food. All right, have a good one, Teeny. 20 said Fred Astaire and uh, W. William, yeah. Uh, William Hawfield, yeah. W.C. Fields. Ah, yes. One of the greatest comedy stits, skits I ever saw was a short one with, uh, I can't remember what the guy's name, Mr. Mulligan or, or uh, something like that. It was funny as hell, the blind guy coming into the, uh, the uh, general store. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, she lives in Chicago. <laughs> William Caulfield. Field something. I can't remember his last name. That's one of my biggest videos on the Murphy channel is uh, the W.C. Fields. You don't know when I have some movie footage of him. Tremendous juggler from the great Ghana. I can't remember. Ghana or something. I don't know. I always worry about the lighting here, Craig, when I'm all all about the uh, lighting. I didn't even put makeup on tonight. Look at sight. Uh, he said Shirley Templer never let her play with the other kids. Would Yeah, would you? I don't know. It was just a sign of the times. You had much very staged, managed mother, mother's uh, Natalie Wood's mother was hard driven to get her into the uh, movies. If I sat down and really thought about it, I could think of quite a few, uh, quite a few child stars who were almost, they missed their childhood, like Joe Jackson and Michael Jackson, right? Let's see. Low film, Fred Rogers. Thanks for the memories. Da -do 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 -do. Da -da -da -da. The big broadcast of 1938. <laughs> I always like Jack Benny. Do 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 do. La da da do 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 do. Oh no, it isn't a dream. It's love in bloom. Yeah, I remember TV went off. Good night, Sherry. I'm going to go about five more minutes, and we're bringing it up to, uh, I think, the three-hour mark. Yeah, good to see you, Sherry. It's love and blue. My heart is do 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 Bring Bing Crosby made that tune to hit. Jack Benny's like, I always hated that song. <laughs> it's funny how things become your uh, things become your uh, your trademark. Violin, a wig, things like that. You go back and view. They're very creepy. She's always around adult men, and they were always all over. What's more interesting to me, Libra, <laughs> is to catch the um, is to catch the. Shirley Temple movies when she's 14, 15 years old. She never really quite made the transition into uh, 
into adults' uh, roles. You know, she just, like stopped at like 18 or something. I think that that was the end of it. It was very interesting to see her. I can't remember one of the older movies that she was in. Yeah, she got older. She was she was attractive. I mean, she was no, uh, you know, she always had that cute perky face. But you can't you can't see somebody as a child star and then see them different when they're grown. It's highly unusual. Oh, I don't know UFO. Tell that to the uh, hundred eighty thousand people that are dead. Yeah, I'm glad, Dave. You and the boss, uh, Dave Dickey. You and uh, you and Janet are heading to Wyoming on the second honeymoon. That's going to be an awesome ride. You make that a nice overnighter. Maybe you make it a two-nighter. You stop in Salt Lake. You look around, around a little bit. Yeah, you get older and less cute. You can't do the roll. Hey, Ninth Element. Picking up the house. Thank you, ninth, ninth element. I guess I woke up and I said, "God, look at this place, man." And that's even I straightened up a little bit before I even did the video. Oh no, it isn't a dream. It's love in bloom. Blue do 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 ah do do do. Do 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 do. La da. Do. Okay, Dave. While you guys are hanging out, I'm gonna take care of a few more things. I'm gonna put the gas cylinder. Oh no, it is a dream. It's love in bloom. Let other do my heart is on. I think this cylinder's had it. Damn, I can't even get the thing off. I think I'm gonna deep six this one. This one's good. I got two rotten ones here. Oh no, it isn't a dream. It's love in blue. La -da -da -da. I'll probably junk that table after tonight. Hey, Darren, how you doing? It's love in bloom. La da do do ba da ba do do. La da da do 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 do. Uh, what river flooding are we talking about? The Yangtze? La da da do 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 do. <clears throat> that good old Chinese engineering. Alright. Ooh, it's getting cold now. I know you guys are going crazy. Like, how can it be cold, man? We're we're roasting their ass off. Woo! <laughs> Cheryl's like she says, junk in the table every Saturday. I know. I know. I know. I know. I just uh uh I just some things you just can't part with. They're like they're like legendary. They're like absolutely legendary. Legendary. Do 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 
Carry that leash, baby. Well, guys, it's been... Uh, how long have I been gone here, uh, Cheryl? Yeah, let me get... To, I didn't even know Ninth Element made content. I want to sub Ninth Element up. Let me... Uh, All right, Ninth Element, I'm subbed up. Why didn't you tell? I didn't even know you made uh, content. Who's going to be at the Rancho next? I think Narce is going to be coming up. <laughs> poor Ace, your eardrums, man. <laughs> your poor eardrums. I had a good, uh, I had a nice conversation with uh, Narce yesterday morning, so uh, he's going to try to pop up here, so I'd be cool to hang out with him for a few days. He's letting me in on some of his plans. Yeah, I'm all subbed up, Ninth Element. Yeah, I didn't even know, if you guys make content, let me know. So Darren, that's who's going to... Uh, Narce is going to try to pop up. I think he was here in... When was he here, Cheryl? January? I think January was here. Maybe November? I can't remember. There'll be a regular flow of uh, people coming through. i got to get some of my ladies up here. I don't know what he's, Cheryl, to be honest to God, I don't know what he's doing right now. I have no idea what he's doing right now. He might still be out in the Central Valley. Um, uh, no, Ninth Element, I just, uh, yeah, he is, but uh, Narce's always been very, uh, we've always gotten along great. Narce is, uh, you know, he's, he's a pretty serious-minded uh, guy. Yep, subbed up. Yeah, I don't know if he's still out. He was he was out like in living in Stockton or something at Tracy or something out there. <clears throat> I don't think Dave's gonna make a surprise visit. And I wouldn't I would not welcome Dave anyway. Any any kindness I had for him dissipated with the uh, with the lies and the and the uh, and the uh, sudden turn of hatred. So unsubbed, blocked, and moved on. <clears throat> Can't deal with uh, people like that. Anyway. Texas. We cooked pan fried chicken, corn fritters, which were unbelievably good using the Peter Pan in recipe, potatoes and peas. I don't need anybody. Darren, I'm not, I'm not a cut and run person. Okay. Good night, Joey D. I'm not, I don't need to have a posse around me to stand up to somebody. I'm going to say thank you, Craig. I appreciate that. Yeah, make cornbread, not, uh, not work. I don't live my life in fear. I've been swatted by cops. Uh, one of the guys was in court July 18th, pleaded guilty to that. I'm going to do an update when the final, uh, when the final thing is uh, done. Yeah, I kind of have a food coma. All right, I'm off to bed, too. Well, I'm not off to bed, but I got stuff to uh, do. Yeah, I've been through a lot of stuff. So the last thing I'm worried about is uh, threats from somebody that wants to do something to me for no reason whatsoever. What? Is that the way you want to live your life? Well, it's on you, not me. So. All right, guys, thanks so much for uh, watching. Thanks for putting us over to 200. Zeus Phillips, Lisa, thank you. Seattle, Judy, Cheryl, my moderators.
Scottish, Jen Jen, all of you guys, JK, everybody. Good to see you, Darren. I hope you and your family are well. Mark, thank you. Ace Egan, thank you. Always an honor to see you and uh, Ace Carson, too. Y'all have a wonderful night and check out Ninth Element. Okay. Thanks, guys.